how you define vector so in last video i discussed that so in definition of vector first thing was vector has magnitude second vector has direction and there was third point also so that third point was vector should obey law of vector algebra vector should obey law of vector algebra so in today's video i will discuss about law of vector algebra so these laws are exclusive to vector now first thing that we'll discuss is how we add vector adding a vector so there are two method one is graphical method and number two is analytical method first is graphical second is analytical method so number one graphical method so in graphical method we'll focus on two laws one is known as triangle law or law of triangle and second and second is parallelogram parallelogram law triangle law and parallelogram law so first let us discuss triangle law or law of triangle now why this name will be clear to you let us consider a problem suppose two vectors a and b are given and you have to find how much is vector a plus vector b equal to so we have to add two vectors so let us discuss it step wise so in step 1 redraw first vector so we can say this a is first vector so we are supposed to redraw first vector second step is redraw second vector from head of first vector redraw second vector from head of first vector so if we implement these two step so redraw first vector so first vector is redrawn and then redraw second vector from head of first this is head of first second vector is b so let us redraw vector b from this so these two steps are implemented mind you at this point what coincides head and tail of vector coincides now in third step <clears throat> sum of two vector we also use word resultant vector so third resultant is from tail of first to head of second resultant is from tail of first to head of second so let us join this so this is your resultant that is a plus b and what shape we get 
triangle and what is name of law triangle law. so if you add two vectors generally what shape we get triangle second law is law of parallelogram so again let us consider the problem two vectors are given a and b we have to find the resultant a plus b equal to so in this law what we do is step 1 redraw both vector from same point redraw both the vector from same point so if we redraw both the vector from same point this is what you get so both vectors are drawn from same point in step 2 construct a parallelogram with help of dotted line so from geometry you know if two line or line segments are given you can easily draw or construct a parallelogram so construct a parallelogram using dotted line so let me implement that a and b step 1 step 2 construct a parallelogram using dotted line step 3 resultant is diagonal from common tail that is resultant is one of diagonal parallelogram has two diagonal so which diagonal is resultant which starts from where common tail so step one redraw both vector from same point step two construct a parallelogram using dotted line and step three diagonal now this diagonal joins one head to another so resultant is diagonal from common tail so this is your resultant a plus b so this is law of parallelogram